Hey, what is going on, Shrimp Keepers? Uh, it is Rob with Flip Aquatics. But you guys already know that today we are talking about Aquashella. So, first of all, happy stinking Monday. Or Monday. Yeah, that's the type of week that I'm having. It actually feels like it's Monday, which means it's been a long, <laughs> long week. But happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Happy shrimp day. Oh man, I'm I'm happy to be here. I even got a full coffee, which you know that means that I had to sleep in today because yesterday, man, I, I worked till like 10 o'clock last night. So I'm I'm pooped. So I slept in till like eight o'clock today, 8 15, something like that. But it was nice. Mm. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hopefully you guys can all hear me and audio is good. Let me pull up some stuff here. So I can update you guys on what's going on at Aquashella coming up super quick. And uh, let me uh, let me make sure everything's running right. It looks like it is. Hey, there we go. Okay, so everything's running good. I think audio is good. So looking good. Uh, Joe's a Shrimp Shack. First one here. Good morning, Joe. Jeremy, good morning to you. Hispanic mechanic. Good morning. Um, we got Jeremy. What did Jeremy say? Well, crap. You said Monday, and I laughed. Silly Rob. It's Tuesday. Wait, it's it's Wednesday. Yeah, you're you're right. I'm uh, I'm glad we're we're all on the same page as far as this week is going. But uh, P5K. Good morning to you as well. It has been uh, it has been quite quite the week. It's actually been quite the probably two weeks ish. A little a little bit more um there's just been a lot going on what's up jelly <laughs> yeah it's been uh it's been crazy but a lot of that is uh it's flip aquatics a lot of it's aquashella it's just uh, a big combination of everything but you know everything is good everything's good aquashella is gonna be a great show 100 percent like there are some amazing people coming on, coming, and we have some amazing things happening during Aquashella. Um, for one, I'm having a booth, which is always a lot of fun, and uh, it's actually really cool. So, we're doing a booth, and the booth, which you know is is kind of cool. We actually are doing like family this time, so it's going to be me and Amanda, Amanda's dad, and then my mom and dad. And then my aunt. So like all family. And so I've never done that before. We've done like Lori and Scott, which is Amanda's mom and dad. And they are just phenomenal helpers. Like they they bust their butt. They do their stuff. And uh, and so they've helped us before. My mom's helped us before. My dad has never been to a trade show before. And my aunt has never been to a trade show before. So everyone's kind of pretty excited to, to come and kind of see what it's all about. And uh, so it, it should be a pretty laid back show. Um, as far as like flip aquatics booth goes, uh, we got Mike in the house, fish tank barn. He is going to be there. So super excited to have him there. Um, Melissa Martin. Good morning to you. Virtual hug back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, Jeremy said, nice. Y'all plan on being in Dallas. So, uh, my wife is due. Amanda's due. I want to say November 30th. I think is the date. Aqua shell is. The month before, I think in October, I got to check the dates. I think it's like end of October. So I think it's too late in the year for my wife to be traveling. Um, so I will be there unless the baby comes super early. Um, but I have all the plans in the world to be there. So you can count on me being there unless something crazy, crazy happens. <laughs> we can put a crib in it. <laughs> Sorry, I just read that. It made me laugh. Wendy's gonna be there. Looking forward to meeting you all. But Wendy, we're we're looking forward to you being there. Um, Beta Ob said, "Good morning, order ship this morning." I'm super excited. Well, thank you so much, Beta, for for placing an order. So yeah, so it's gonna be a great show. So let's get into what you can expect at Aquashella. So let's start with who's coming. Now I don't have a complete list. Uh, this is actually what I'm working on today: is completing my list, reaching out with everyone, or reaching out to everyone. And making sure I know who's coming and who's not coming. Um, so the people that I know are coming, and let me pull up this too. 
I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I promise. I would be more prepared, but you guys know. You you know how it is. It, it just gets a little a little crazy, a little crazy in the morning. Let me do responses. Um, there we go. Okay, so here are the people that are coming to Aquashella, Chicago. Now, granted, this list is not limited to who's coming. But these, this is the the minimum of who is coming. So, um, obviously, my man KG Tropicals, John and Lisa. If you've never met them before, they are both phenomenal people, and so they will be there. Uh, yours truly will be there. Flip Aquatics um, with with Amanda. So you guys will be able to see the baby bump. Uh, we got Primetime Aquatics coming. Jason Adams. Uh, he's bringing his kids, and then his wife has her own channel, The Smallscape. So The Smallscape is coming. Shout out to Joanna. Um, so she'll be there. Coralfish, 12G, George, always there. Um, we're trying to get him more out and intermingling with people because he's usually in the back working on the show. And so we're trying to get him out into the, the crowd a little bit more. Uh, Dustin's Fish Tanks. So Dustin will be there. Um, Mike from Aqua Pro is going to be there. Alex from Tank Tested. I'm also going to be there. Another great guy. Look at that. Got a call coming in. I'll have to call him back. <laughs> um, LR Brett's Aquatics. So Lucas Brett's is going to be there. Um, Ohio Fish Rescue, Big Rich. And I think Josh is coming. But if Josh isn't coming, then Reaper's coming with them. And so they'll be there. Hilton Head Mermaid, Callie. Um, Callie is actually a phenomenal mermaid. She's like, She's got like the craziest mermaid suit up like ever. Like it's, it's crazy. So she is coming and she's bringing Greg who, who is a person that I met through my channel, phenomenal couple, great people. So they'll be there. Super excited to get to hang out with them. Um, Tanner from Serpa design is coming. Uh, Stephanie from queen of reef, uh, Kasha creative pet keeping Jay Wilson, um, science gal aquatics, Carrie and Jesse are both coming, which is exciting. Uh, Joe is here. Joe Shrimp Shack. He'll be there. And then we got um, some other people. Haley from Oddball Aquatics is coming. Um, Steven from SC Aquatics will be there. Uh, Detroit Shrimp and Aquatics. Chattanooga Ed, my dude, Chattanooga Ed's going to be there, which that dude is awesome. Like, I really enjoyed getting to hang out with him. Uh, Mike from the Fish Tank Barn and uh, Fish Room Fever are the ones that I know for sure are coming. So uh, super excited to, to have a, a good mix of people there. And uh, it's going to be it's going to be a really, really, really good time. So I see Carrie just tuned in. So Carrie, super excited for you to be there. And uh, it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're, we're doing some really fun things with the creators that is going to be a, a really good time, like honestly. And one of the things that we're doing for all of you that can't come is we are actually organizing a live stream. So we've done live streams in the past, but we've never done one to this magnitude, this organized knock on wood. Um, but it's going to be a really cool thing. So um, Aquashella actually has their own YouTube page that I've been helping them build up and work on and make sure it's good to go for live streaming. Um, so I actually put the link down below. And so you guys can actually go to Aquashella, subscribe to their YouTube channel and make sure that you're not going to miss miss a beat there um, because we're going to be doing all the live streaming on their channel. So all the people that I named for the most part um, that are coming, all those people are going to be a part of the live stream. And uh, at least in some fashion, hopefully we'll get them all mixed in there. And we'll have different segments where, you know, we can talk with that specific person and have a really good conversation. And so it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. But we're going to be doing that live stream on the Aqua Shelly YouTube channel. And uh, and so we got we got a, a whole live stream set up that we're, we're setting up and it's going to be a really, really, really fun time. So I am really looking forward to it. But uh, but yeah, so that's like the gist of what's going on. The other really cool thing that we're doing with creators is we are having a aquascaping contest. So it's going to be like a four gallon aquarium. We're going to aquascape it, set it all up. And then we're going to let the crowd, the people on Sunday pick their favorite tank. So we're not going to tell them like whose tank is whose, 
but they're going to be able to pick their favorite tank based on you know what they like and so we even have like some saltwater people that are potentially going to escape and do a saltwater escape and so yeah so it'll be it'll be really cool so there's going to be some fun stuff going on and uh, there's a lot of other stuff going on in the mix too but that's like the creator side of it and so uh so let me go through some comments uh jeremy looking forward to meeting you too it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast uh, Natasha said, never been to a trade show or aqua shell. Well, Natasha, you got to get out, girl. It's, uh, it's going to be a really, really, really good time. And if you've never been to something or never been to an aquatics trade show, specifically aqua Shella, it is quite the experience. So I've been to every one that they've had so far. And, uh, every time it just keeps getting bigger and better. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they do at Schomburg because that's one of my favorite convention centers. Uh, I be Sam. Good morning to you. Melissa said, tell Amanda, I hope I know how she feels. I'm due October 3rd. Well, congratulations, Melissa. That's super exciting. A baby on the way is, is such a blessing. I know that I am beyond, beyond excited, uh, to meet our little girl. So we're really looking forward to that. Tasha also said, hello, beautiful people. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. You guys know I said Carrie stopped in. So, Carrie, thank you for being here. Uh, we got SC Aquatics in the house. So that is Steve or Steven or however you want to say. It. But Steven, um, he is going to be at the show as well. And so really looking forward to hanging out with him. He's actually coming down um, this weekend. And uh, it's going to be a really good time. And so... Uh, so yeah, we're actually looking forward to hanging out and shooting some videos and stuff like that. So it would be really cool to get to hang out with him. Uh, Carrie's super excited, which is good. Joe said Reaper is coming, not Josh. So uh, so that's that's gonna be cool. So I've never met Reaper, so that'll be fun. Um, Sam said uh, Chicago will be my first Aqua Shell. Is super excited. Well, it's it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be awesome. Um, we got wildflower aquatics in the house, Emma. Always good to see you. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And then, uh, yeah, it, it'll definitely, definitely be the be a great time. So I'm looking forward to it. A little stressed out because you know there's there's a ton of planning that needs done. Uh, there's a ton of other things I need to do prior to Aquashella happening. Um, and then even at Aquashella, like I found out like last minute that I'm giving a talk to. So yeah. It's uh, it's always uh, it's always an adventure when it comes to Aqua Shella. Uh, Fish Tank Barn Mike said multitasking with live stream and work town hall lurking on both. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I'm glad that uh, that you're here and hanging out. Always good to see you. Is there ever an Aqua Shella in Texas? Yeah, there's uh, there's actually one coming up in Dallas in October. I want to say like October 30th and 31st, something like that. And so, uh, so yeah, we'll be there. It's going to be a good show. Uh, the Dallas one's crazy. So many people come to it. So that's going to be a good show to come to. Uh, Carla, thanks for tuning in. And then, uh, are the scapes dry or wet? They will be wet. They will be wet scapes. We are doing wet scapes, but no livestock. So water in them, no livestock. And so you can use plants and things like that. There's an Aquashella in Dallas, but I'm not sure when. Yeah, October. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Carrie, you are on top of it. Dallas Aquashella is October 30th and 31st. That's what I think, too. So you are right. But before we talk more about this, I want to show you guys something. So let me share my screen. Let me see how this is going to work. Share screen. I want to see what you guys think. So there we go. So I know that I was editing these pictures um, last time we did a video and I want to show you guys the finished result. I actually finished these yesterday just because like I needed something that took my mind off all the stress. And this is somewhat relaxing. It can be stressful in its own right, but at least it's mindless. And so I can just sit there. I really don't have to think so I can put like, you know, a podcast on, I can watch an episode of one of my shows that I really like, like something like that, like just kind of zone out. So yesterday I was watching Homeland and editing these pictures, which was pretty nice. But let me show you this. This is a uh, dwarf hair grass. So this is the finished 
result of what the what the picture will look like on the website. Obviously, it's not on the website yet, but it will be. Um, I actually have to finish these up after we get off the phone today. Let's see. This is a Ritala, like red Ritala suit. I think it's super red Ritala. I don't know. I don't have the name for, on me right now. I have it actually downstairs, but this one's done. So this one came out pretty good. And then this is an up close picture. So I try to do like a picture of the pot. Let me see if I can go back. I try to do a picture with the pot in it. And then also a picture of like the up close leaf. So you can kind of see like the color of the plant and stuff like that. And then this is Sturgeon Repens. So like, you know, you got the roots coming down the side. You know, it looks it looks good. It looks good to me. I like it. And so we got that one. And then this is the AR. Um, so Alternechia Renicki, I think is how you say it. I Please forgive me if I'm, I'm butchering that. I, I'm not a good scientific name person. <laughs> but I do my best. And then I did an up close shot so that you could really see the red in the leaves. And you could tell like this is older growth. And then this is like now we got our system really dialed in. And the new growth is just looking phenomenal. So I actually did a video um, yesterday, which I don't know if you guys saw it or not. Um, Jeremy, thanks so much for tuning in, man. Have a good day and appreciate you being here. But I don't know if you saw my update video I did on the warehouse, um, you know, downstairs and all the different plants and the AR is actually looking like phenomenal. Like it's, it's looking really good. So Mark and uh, Seathan, the whole livestock team are just doing a phenomenal job. And then this is Anubius Coffifolia. So you can see there's like a new leaf coming up there. Um, this picture, like the water was getting a little dirty. So you can see like specks on here. And so that was kind of a pain in the butt when it came to editing. But all in all, I think it came out pretty good. You can see here, same thing. But uh, but still, like better to have a picture than no picture. And then this is the Glosso Stigma, which we haven't had a picture of. And then, oh yeah, we do have more. Uh, Pennywort. So again, this is the bunch portion. So you can see the bunch here. This is kind of like a zoomed out picture of it. And then one up close just to kind of give people a better idea of what the leaf structure looks like and all that. And that's it. So those, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Those 11 pictures took me like, I don't know, eight at it not eight hours, probably like six hours. Like it took me actually, it might've been eight hours. Like, I don't know. I really didn't keep track of my time, but it took me a decent amount of time to do that for sure. Um, so yes, that's what, that's the finished product. So hopefully you guys like that. Um, let's see what everybody's saying. <laughs> Beta said moving to Texas, but not till the same. Darn it. We're going to miss you, but next year we'll be back. So don't worry about that. Um, Emma said, oh, that looks great, Rob. Totally understand the want to mindlessly do art. Absolutely. It is It is so nice just to zone out and do it. Uh, Steven said, picture looks good. Thank you so much, man. Uh, Wendy, beautiful picture. I appreciate that. Eduardo said, good morning. Great job, Rob. It gives the plants an awesome look. Well, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Um, oh, Rob, does anyone sell live, um, begging them moss? I don't know. I, I don't even know what that is. I would have to look it up. So I'm sure, I'm sure somebody sells it. Uh, we don't do, we don't though. Uh, nature in a bottle. Thank you so much. Steven said, editing pictures takes forever. It really does, man. It, it's fun. It's relaxing, but it does take a really, really long time. So like my employees are always on me. They're like, Hey, like, can you get these pictures edited? Like we really need to get these listed on the website. I'm like, listen, I don't have enough time to do it to the standard that I want it done. That's why it'd be super nice to have a video editor, a photographer, like someone that just worked for us that I could just be like, Hey, like go get these pictures done and they could work on it all week. Then, uh, things would happen a lot faster if we had that, but we don't, at least not yet soon very soon maybe we might go different i don't know there's you never know what's going on here at flip quiet there's always something going on well worth the time rob thank you so much joanna always appreciate you so i was just talking about jason and joanna coming and it's primetime aquatics in the small scape so super excited to see you wearing around the badge that says joanna with the small scape 
And so, uh, so yeah. So, uh, if you guys haven't checked out the small scape, definitely go check her out. Um, she, she's just doing some phenomenal stuff over there and it's right up my alley. I love nano tanks, even though I love really big tanks, but I like doing really big tanks with nano stuff. And so, uh, so yeah, so that's definitely something to go check out. Chris Burl, man, Chris, I have not seen you in forever. Um, appreciate you stopping in and being here. Always good to see you. You're probably flying the country and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I know you just had a birthday, so happy birthday. And uh, yeah, so always enjoy seeing you. I hope you all are enjoying your summer. We hope you are as well. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it is either, but I'll have to look it up. I'll definitely look it up after this. Yeah. Oh, as an educator of Photoshop in high school, this was always so tedious. Yeah, that's so cool that you, you were an uh, educator. Yeah, Photoshop is... An amazingly powerful tool, but it takes a lot of work to know what you're doing. So, like, I've watched, I don't even know, I've probably watched 40 hours worth of tutorials to get to the point where I am now. And I still, like, there's things that I'm just like, how do I do this? Like, the other day, I was trying to put a, a rectangle over top of my image and then, you know, make it black and then make it like somewhat transparent. And I was like, how do I do it? So like I looked it up and it's like the easiest thing to do, but I haven't used it in so long that, you know, I forgot. The lives spagnum. I don't even know how you say that spagnum. I just think of spaghetti. So the live spaghetti can be floated, put in a filter bag or is great for lowering pH. LRB aquatics put me on to that stuff. I think it technically pure moss is dead oh gotcha okay that that makes more sense that makes sense hey nano aquatics eventually get to catch you live hate the time zone difference which we had something like aquashella or even just fish fish clubs in south africa well man thank you so much for tuning in um i i think it's awesome that you're able to make it i think it's so cool that we're able to connect from across the world that is just awesome like that's the awesome thing about the internet is the world is so much smaller. So it's really sweet. Joe, the traffic sucks about 40 minutes from the shop. Man, you better get moving, especially if you're doing a live stream after me. But yeah, Pete Moss. Yeah, I know, I know exactly what you're, what you're talking about. I might have said it wrong just because I wasn't thinking. But yeah, Pete Moss for sure. It's so. Uh, oh, man. Ooh. Oh, Twin City Guppies King says, wish I could make it. So he will not make it. Darn it. So there's some really cool other things going on at Aquashella. So obviously, like there's creators that are giving talks. I know Jason Adams is giving one um, from Prime, Primetime Aquatics. KG Tropicals is giving one. I'll be giving one. Um, Alex from Tank Test will be giving one and countless others. So there's going to be like some really good topics to be able to like sit back and watch and learn. Um, so I'll be doing, I'll be doing the same talk that I did in Orlando, um, which, you know, I, I just don't have enough time to build another talk with everything going on. So that's what I'm doing. And then if, uh, if they want me to talk in Dallas, I might have enough time to do a new talk for them, or I might just do the same talk for each show. Um, because I, I talked with Jason from T primetime aquatics and he's kind of all about, you know, doing one talk for the whole year because it's all in different regions. So, I mean, that makes perfect sense to me. So I might I might follow his his lead and do the same thing um, just to keep it easy and just build a new talk every year if they want me to keep coming back year after year. And so. Uh, so, yeah, so that's going on. The other really cool thing is um, I don't know if you guys know of Greg Whitstock, uh, the pond guy who is actually also going to be at Aquashella. So I didn't even put him on the list, but I probably should. Um, and I'm sure Ed, the pond guy will be there, too, or Ed, the pond professional or I always forget Ed's channel, but Ed's a great guy as well. Um, they're going to be there and they're actually hosting a really big like YouTuber get together on Friday night, um, which will be for all the creators. But the cool thing is creators can bring up to two people. So um, if you guys know a creator, so like, you know, uh, I know Steven is here with SC Aquatics. He's coming. So if, uh, if he doesn't have two people that he can bring, I'm sure he can give away two tickets on his channel for other people to come. And so it's just going to be an amazing event. We're going to be doing free food. Um, there's going to be drinks as in like Coke and stuff like that. I don't think alcoholic, 
I, I but honestly, I don't know. I would assume it's going to be like Coke and stuff like that. Um, we're going to be swimming in Greg Whitsock's koi pond. So he has this huge, crazy koi pond. So I actually think Callie, who's who's our mermaid, um, I think I, I convinced her to bring her uh, her mermaid tail and and jump on in and and swim. And so it's, it's going to be really, really fun. And then Greg's facility is just huge. Like he has an indoor soccer field. He has a volleyball court. Like he has a gym, cafeteria. Like it's just mammoth, mammoth place. And so there's going to be some really cool stuff going on there. Some uh, some bigger people are coming, like Brian Barcheck, if you guys know him. Um, Brett Raymer from Tanked is coming. And so, yeah, it's gonna it's just going to be a good time. It really is. So I'm looking forward to it. And that's on Friday night. And then on Saturday night, um, I'm still not 100% sure what we were doing. We were talking about doing Top Golf, um, which is still open. We talked about doing like a little banquet type thing where – you know, we we kind of like do some awards and stuff like that. Um, but I, I'm really not sure. So I think what I'm going to start doing is we're me and the the fish tube uh, planning group. Uh, we're going to look out to some restaurants or ha- potentially have something catered at the event and just do like a little dinner just for creators. And if people want to hang around and, and chill with us, we could do something. And so. Uh, so, yeah, so we, we got some cool stuff going on that that I'm really excited for. And uh, it's going to be it's going to be a good time. So really excited to bond with the creators and do some fun stuff. Um, Eduardo actually asked a really, really good question. Uh, will there be a shrimp contest in Aquashella, Chicago? So we are doing Aquashella or in Chicago, we are doing a shrimp contest, but it's a really scaled down contest. That's not saying that like a hundred people can enter because they could. Um, but what it is, is like, you know, for, for the places. So like, first through third of the categories we we're probably only going to do a first and second place um and then instead of doing a people's choice award we're just doing best of the best and a lot of our big breeders that that always enter um we ask not to enter because we really want to open it up for for other people to enter in like you know whether they're they're young kids like you know me and joe have been talking about or they're just people that are intimidated to enter like we want to really free it up and so uh so grant eater um has actually been really organizing that and pushing it and trying to get people involved. And so, uh, so we are definitely going to have a little shrimp contest at Aquashella, Chicago, but the big push is we're going to have a, a little TV going and a video going. Um, and next year in Aquashella, Chicago, we're going to be doing the international contest. Um, at least that's the plan. Like that's what I'm pushing for. And so Joe from Joe's shrimp shack, um, is actually the person that organizes that. So me and him are, are partnering up and, um, Aquashella, JBJ, Shrimp King, like we're all partnering up to make sure that this happens. And then we're still going to have the American Shrimp Contest in Orlando and Dallas. Um, but hopefully they'll be a little bit more spread out. And uh, so it'll be it'll be a great time. And so we're really looking forward to that. Um, SC Aquatics says, sorry if I miss it. What what day are you guys heading up? I'm heading up Thursday night. So we're actually heading up Tuesday because I have a lot of like setup type stuff to do. Um, I actually, you know, I'm going to be setting up the the fish tube booth, which we're going to be doing that live stream and potentially I'll have to build a, a stage. Um, hopefully not. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. It's just one of those things that like, we're kind of, we're kind of playing up by year. We were going to rent a stage and then we were going to build a stage and then we were going to rent a stage and then we were going to buy a stage and now we're going to build one. So like yet to be determined what we're doing with the stage but i do have to figure something out from that i also want to figure out a way to hang our banner um and then just like get the setup done and then also set up flip aquatics booth and so uh so yeah so there's going to be a lot of stuff going on so i'm getting in tuesday that way i have all day wednesday thursday friday to get things set up that way i'm not stressed because i don't want to show up thursday and literally have two days to set up stuff that would take me three days and i'm not bringing any of my employees this time so like you know, it's it's just going to be like me, my wife and then volunteers. And then Amanda's like super pregnant now. And so she can't help a ton. And so, yeah, it's just, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I hope this doesn't sound like complaining, but I just want to make sure I get there early enough that I'm not stressed to get things done. So I will be there Tuesday night. Joe's coming up on Thursday. Steven said he was coming up on Thursday. And then uh, let's see. Beta Ops says you should have two categories and have a professional and amateur class. That's actually not a bad idea. I uh, I like that. I like that idea. I do. 
I'm actually I like that so much that I'm actually gonna write it down. So that's how you know I like it. So give me one second. Let me pull this up. Um, because what I do is my life is so crazy that I have task lists for everything. So I actually have a task list for the shrimp contest. So I'm gonna put on there amateur class and professional class. Bit ops, you know, you got some good ideas. I got I gotta hand it to you. Uh James Green said late but made it. Thanks for this event, Jim. Well, Jim, thank you so much for tuning in and appreciate you making it, even though it's it's late. But you know, we're only 30 minutes in. We got up to another 30 minutes so we could be hanging out. But yeah, we've just been going over Aqua Shell and what we can expect. Um, yeah, I guess the biggest thing, like, let me um let me share my screen. And I want to show you guys like what you can expect. Um, let me see. Okay, so I'll just show you this. Let me go back to sharing my screen. Oh, that's super small. Let's not do that. There we go. Okay, so this is, you know, you go to YouTube, right? and you type in this now ignore all this stuff up here i mean this always happens like you know update on case pp slash d's blah 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 like <laughs> just ignore that sorry to draw attention to it but if you type in aquashella on youtube you go to filter and then do channel aquashella youtube channel will come up first and so uh so this is where we'll be doing everything like you, you guys just need to watch this stuff like george is so funny when he does his uh his trailer videos and so, uh, so this video just made me laugh. This was the Aquashella Orlando trailer video. So I think that's hilarious. Um, but anyway, this is where we're going to be doing our live streams at. And so, uh, so we haven't done any yet, but they, they really don't even have that many videos up. I've been kind of pushing them to, to get more videos up. So they got this one up and then there's another after show that they just did that. Um, hopefully I can get George to upload soon, but again, the guys in Greece. So it's hard to get a hold of him. He just had a birthday. So, you know, trying to let him enjoy his vacation. But uh, but yeah, so this is good. This is my favorite trailer of all time, which was the Texas, the the Dallas one. So if you guys ever want to just come watch these, um, the link for their channel is down below. Uh, but you can always find it the way I just showed you. Search Aquachella and then come here. Um, but we're trying to get them up to that thousand subscriber mark, um, you know, just so that eventually you know they can monetize it and you know do their thing so it's all a process but yeah so that's uh that's aqua Shell. so that's where we're going to be doing the live stream at and then uh yeah so there's a there's a ton of stuff going on but um but i'm looking forward to it i'm looking forward to getting away i'm going to try to bring in an import order um the tuesday after the show that way i could just stay there monday like just stay stay all day monday and then pick up the order on tuesday and just drive it back and that would save me a lot of drive time the only thing that i just now started thinking about is will i have the space for an import order in the van and that's a good question that i don't know i do know that jason from primetime aquatics lives in chicago so if i had to drop stuff off at his house and leave it in his garage potentially he'd be okay with that. So I might have to reach out to him and just kind of see that. Florante, good morning to you, my friend. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, not drinking enough coffee. Tends to happen to me. I wish I could drink more. I used to drink literally a pot, two pots a day, and bam. Anxiety. <laughs> so I don't do that anymore. Um, but good morning, Florante. Joe Shrimp Shack said, I can come Wednesday after I close store if you spare a couch because my hotel isn't till Thursday. I'm sure I can find something. We'll talk about it. We will. The small scape. So Joanna said, oh, yeah, no problem. See, I don't even have to ask Jason. I already got the boss's approval. <laughs> I love it. I know how it works. I know how it works. And so, uh, so that's awesome. But. I will, uh, I'll try to figure that out because I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off or not. But if I could, I mean, literally that would save us six and a half hours of driving because we drive from here to Chicago to pick up the import at six and a half hours. Um, we go down the day before, pay for a hotel room, 
drive back. And so if we could just get it while we're already there, like, I mean, that's huge. It's huge. Um, SC Aquatic Steven said the convention center was fully booked, so I got a room at the Hyatt. It's just across the freeway, so it's still closed. Was it really already booked? That's wild. Oh man, I'll have to. Uh, huh. so that's gonna be interesting. Um, but thank God, thank God I was ahead of the schedule this time. Normally, I'm always behind the eight ball and you book in my room late. This time, I booked my rooms like right ahead of time. So I have all of our rooms booked, which is uh, which is a good thing, which is a good thing. So happy about that. Steven said, I challenge you to top golf. It's official. This is a call out. <laughs> well, Steven, thank you so much for the 499, man. I appreciate the super chat. Um, but yeah, no, top golf, dude, I want to go so bad, but uh, I don't know if it's going to work out. I hope it does. And uh, if it does, absolutely, let's do it. Um, if it doesn't work out, we could potentially still go, but it wouldn't it wouldn't be an event. It would just be like all of us like go go. I think it's stag and you pay for yourself. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's the right term or not, but lots of fun stuff going on. So Steven, thank you so much for the super chat. Look forward to hanging out with you this weekend. I know me and Amanda are excited to uh to kind of chat a little bit more and uh shoot some videos and stuff like that. And I don't know, are we going to Ohio Fish Rescue? Um, if that's something that you think we'll have time for, then I can reach out to to Big Rich or you could reach out to him and we could shoot some videos up there as well because I've never been and I've been wanting to go. And so uh, so it'd be really cool to be able to go. Um, Mark McMillan said, Father's Day gift for my son, RT Air, Convention Center, Hotel, VIP Aquashella and several trips and tours downtown with son. Wife said fly as she knew I would fill the truck if I drove. See you there. Dude, that is so awesome, Mark. I uh, I can't wait to see you there. What a great Father's Day gift. That's just awesome. That is awesome, man. So that would be so cool getting to hang out with you. And then Richard, the small scape. Love your videos, madam. And so uh, absolutely, Joanna is super creative. And uh, she's just phenomenal. So definitely feel free to check out the small scape. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's uh, it's cool. And uh, so I know that I, I posted a video yesterday and it felt really good. Um, it actually felt really good to get a video out there. And I've come to the realization that I just need to post videos. So I will just explain to you guys what it's like being a creator and at least what it's like being a, being me and how I think about things. I'm very analytical. So when I post a video that does really good, let's say uh, let's say I post a video here. I'll just I'll just pull it up. Let me go to uh, to my channel. So here, let me pull my screen back up. That's not what I wanted. Okay, so this is this is the YouTube, right? When you go to videos. Um, like, you know, let's just say a year ago. So in the past, this one's over a year old. So we've done one, two, three, four, five, six actual videos in the past year, which is horrendous, absolutely horrendous. And so you look at these videos like this one got 60,000 views. This one got 121,000 views. This one got 16, 13, 14, 32, 554. And so like when when I put out a video like this one, which gets 554, 553,000 views, um, which again, that doesn't happen overnight, but like you can tell right away whether it's going to be a good video or not. Um, my next thing is like, okay, like how how do I how do I follow this up? Because now you're in the YouTube algorithm. So I'm like, okay, like this is this is a decent video that I can follow up with. So I'm like, okay, I'll put this one out. And then that one does it, does, it does okay, right? And then I'm like, you know, I really just need to make videos. Like, you know, this time, like we're really dragging our feet. So um, I feel like this is a decent update video. I'll put this one out. So it's still like 14K, like that's pretty good. And then I do another one, another follow-up video, which is apparently at least three months after that. So I took a long time. So I'm like, I really need to make a video. Let me just do it on this. Um, it does okay, right? Not super good. And then the next one, a month later, after that one, again, 16K views. So like, yeah, not not great, but still pretty good. And then you get this one like, okay, I really need to make a video. It needs to be a good video, 121K. 
And then this one I put a ton of effort into. It took me two months, 60K. And then I go to the, I, I went to Orlando Aquashella and I'm like, okay, I really need to get back into a rhythm of just posting YouTube videos. Like I have to do it. And so I'm like, okay, here's the American Shrimp Contest. Um, not, not a really super well done video, but it's still an interesting video. It's something that I would want to see. Um, and you know, it's content like people want to see what's going on. So I shoot that video. I put it up. I know it's not going to do well. So 4.3 K terrible. Right. And, and then this video again, not a super well done video, but I just need to like get back into that routine and post them. Cause again, it, it was a month between this video and that video. And so, uh, so this one, 3.1 K, so not doing great, but I mean, it is what it is. And so here's what I realized. It's better to post a video than not post a video. Um, that's what I've come to the realization of because I just need to like get back in that routine. And once I'm in that routine, I can, you know, focus on the quality, but the quality is what has held me back from posting videos. Like, um, I'm so busy in everything that I do. So like for me to put out a video that I would be happy with takes me more time than I have. Um, whereas like the video that I put out yesterday is a video that, Hey, like I can come in on a Saturday, shoot that video, edit it, put it up and it could be up by Tuesday. And it doesn't take an immense amount of work. Like it still takes, you know, four or five, six hours, but it's not like 20, 30, 40 hours. Whereas like, you know, when I did like 10 reasons shrimp die, like that was like, a 30, 30 hour project or more. Um, and so it's just like, it's, it's, it's falling into that acceptance that like, it doesn't have to be a home run video every time. Um, and there's people out there that, that that's all they do is YouTube and they, they can do that. They can put out home run videos every single time. But for me and my schedule and what I do in a day and what I have, what my responsibilities are now, I just can't do it. So I would much rather put out content so that you guys can watch what's going on in Flip Aquatics and not have to wait, you know, a year before you see another video. Um, <clears throat> so it's just one of those things that like I need to I need to get back into that and it needs to be uh, a, a switch. Like I just need to change my mentality. So let's see what you guys are saying. Uh, when he said we booked our room two months ago, glad I did the VIP ticket. Absolutely. It, it's so worth it. You get in early, you get to see everything first. You get first dibs on stuff if you want to buy it. Uh, SC Aquatic says, I'll be there with my truck, Rob. I'll be there till Monday. Well, that's a good point too because you live so close. Um, so that's not a bad idea, man. Dude, I love the way you think. <laughs> uh, what's up, Flipper? I will take that as a compliment. So what is going on, uh, Shark? <laughs> Uh, SC Aquatic says we can hit up OFR if you want. Yeah, I'll actually give you a call a little bit later on today or call me on your lunch break and uh, we can talk more about it and kind of come up with a game plan. Vivian, Vivian, it's so good to see you. Vivian, just so you guys know, is a phenomenal artist. Absolutely phenomenal. She drew me one of my favorite pictures of all time. Um, I, I actually have it up on display out there. And so, uh, so yeah, so Vivian is awesome. And this is what Vivian said. It's okay. You haven't failed just because you can't, you couldn't top your best. I often feel that way too. I'm just gonna say whenever you release a video, any video at all. Well, I, I appreciate that. I really do. And thank you so much for supporting me, Vivian and everyone else here. And so like, like even right now, like it, if, if I looked at like, Oh yeah, we got like 50 people in here. I can be like, man, like I should have, you know, 150, 200 people in here. And so like, obviously I'm not doing my live streams, right. You know that like, those are the types of thoughts that could come up. But I think like, this is just our Wednesday morning hangout. Like if 10 people are in here, I'm completely fine with it. If 200 people are in here, I'm completely fine with it. Um, at the end of the day, it's just like a weekend, a, a weekday update video, something to separate the week, chat with you guys, have a good time. Like it's nothing, nothing crazy. Like it doesn't have to do amazingly well for it to be a success. It's just a success to be able to come in here and hang out with people like Vivian, who I haven't you know, seen in a long time or, you know, Emma's in here, like so many people that used to be in all of our live streams and seeing them again is just so cool. And, uh, Chris Burrell is another one. Like I used to see him every, every week. And, and now it's like, it's like a song today, like that, those type of things make these worth it. And so, uh, so for me, it's just a ton of fun, but I could be much more structured with these live streams. I could say like, this is 100% what we're talking about today. 
uh, submit your questions and we'll, we'll answer them in the video and we'll plan it all out and it'll be great. Um, but that's just, that's just not where I'm at right now, but we can get there. It's just not, not right now. So Vivian, thank you so much for tuning in. Zach said, let's go. <laughs> Can't wait for Aqua Shell of Chicago. I'm with you on that. Like, I wish I wish I had more time to get things done for it, but I'm excited for it to be here. I'm excited to be there and hang out with people. And uh, this this Aquashella, I'm going to do everything in my power to be with the creators and enjoy my time there, opposed to like you know being pulled in a hundred different directions and you know stuck doing this 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 and this. Um, I just really want to enjoy it. Um, Eric said, "Doing great work." Well, I appreciate that, Eric. Thank you so much for for tuning in and dropping a comment. I, I appreciate that. And then uh, Vivian said, it's normal to feel that way. Don't worry. We still appreciate you. It's just regression to the, to the mean. And uh, yeah, so we're, uh, we're getting there and uh, I'm really excited for the direction we're going. And uh, we have some big plans coming up. Um, I mean, I'm always telling you guys the plans that we have, but I'm really excited to see where we go from here. And uh, again, a GM is going to help so much. Like that's going to take a, Literally, it will take 40 hours off my plate every week, um, which is 40 hours I can put into YouTube and growing the business and adding new products and things like that. So uh, it's 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 necessary at this point. Like the more that the farther that I go, the more I realize how necessary it is to have a general manager. And so uh, so that's something that hopefully will happen sooner rather than later. Um, but at the end of the day, you never know. So. We'll, uh, we'll see how that all, all turns out. But yeah, Chicago, so excited. I hope you guys can be there. Um, if not, we're definitely going to be doing those live streams so you can still be a part of the event. And uh, it's going to be a good time. There's there's some huge creators coming. There's some awesome creators. And even the smallest of creators are awesome. Um, like, you know, it doesn't matter if you have a thousand subscribers or one million. Like, you know, I'm excited to hang out with those people and and be a part of it. And so, uh, so yeah, so it's it's going to be a great time. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And then, uh, yeah, so we, we have some cool stuff going on. Other thing, like we are so close to hundred K like, let me, let me just look at what we're at, which, you know, has been a huge goal of mine for, for so long. Um, lately I would say since COVID it kind of took my focus from hit hundred K to focus on the business because the business just got crazy. Um, but now like, I'm really back to like, let, let's get this, let's do this. Let's, let's peek over this mountain and see where we can go from there. And so hundred K so close We're we're 123 people away from being at hundred K. Um, so if everything goes right, we could hit that in a couple days. Um, I mean, if everything goes perfect, we could hit it in a day. And, uh, just when that happens, like, it's going to be such a, such a huge thing. Um, like, you know, I, I've been on YouTube for. I don't know, 10 years, maybe, maybe less than that, maybe like eight, seven or eight. And so, uh, so it's taken a long time to get here. Um, but I'm happy that we're here. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a crazy, crazy journey. It's, it's been so fun. Um, God's blessed me beyond measure. Um, with not only YouTube with you guys, with the business, with everything that has happened. And, uh, it's just feels good. feels really good. Joe's getting close to the shop. So Joe is actually um, actually doing a live stream after this. He's going to talk about, you know, kind of like what it's like to play in a trade show because he's been a part of aquatic experience um, and playing the international shrimp contest. And so he's seen a, a whole different side of trade shows that, that I've seen. Uh, so he's going to talk more about that. Yeah, it, it would be totally awesome to hit 100K before Aquashella Chicago. Um, it will happen sooner, sooner than later. Yeah, we will, we will definitely hit it before Aquashella Chicago. We will definitely do it. Whatever it takes, it's going to happen. We're going to do it. We're going to push forward and, uh, it's going to be awesome. So yeah. Um, another cool thing that I've been thinking about doing <clears throat> is, uh, in these mornings, um, bringing someone else on here. So like, um, I know there's people like Joe that would love to be a part of it. I, I know Carrie's been in here, uh, Steven with SC Aquatics, uh, Joanne, the small scape, like I'm sure there's, there's a bunch of people that would be willing to come onto the show and, uh, and be a part of it. And it's always more fun, at least for me, when I have another person to interact with. 
And so, uh, so yeah, so that's, that's something that we'll, we'll, we'll definitely work towards. Um, and I'm sure people would definitely be down for it. <clears throat> so we'll see what happens with that. But guys, I have a ton to do today, so I'm going to get to work on it. It's all Aquashella related. Um, I'm focusing strictly on Aquashella today, probably a little bit of flip. You know, you can't, you can't be at flip and not focus on flip. Um, but yeah, a AE, as far as I know, is not coming back. Um, that's what, that's why, that's what I, I think, uh, Joe needs 18 minutes. Joe, you are running late, my friend. So Joe is going to be live on Joe's shrimp shack, um, live streaming in 18 minutes. If you guys want to head over there, um, I'm sure he's already got the live stream scheduled. So feel free to jump on over to Joe's channel and, uh, wait for him. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm going to be focusing on Aquashella. Um, make sure all the creators are on the same page. Make sure it's all booked, ready to go. Everything's good. And we're ready to hit the ground running in two and a half weeks. It's coming quick. So guys, girls, everybody, I appreciate you. Uh, huge shout out to the members. Um, anybody that decided to be a member, I just want you to know that I appreciate you guys. And uh, it means a lot to me that you guys support me each and every day. And so thank you guys so much. Um, for everyone that's been here for, for a long time and even new people, thank you guys for just supporting the, the channel and hanging out. And I really look forward to meeting some of you in Aquashella. It's going to be, it's going to be a great time, but you guys make it a great rest of your week. I'll get another video out next week. Um, God willing. And so, uh, so we'll see you. We'll see you then, but you guys make it a great day as always. God bless. And, uh, as I've been saying, we'll catch you on the flip side. See you guys.